The wages of sin is death. And considering the uh, issue of eternal punishment of the lost, many people can only visualize a punishment as vindictive. In other words, sinners are afflicted by God because of God's intolerable disposition toward them in their sins. This is the impression one certainly receives from the Calvinistic view. Calvinists say things like, The damned shall be packed like brick into a kiln, and be so bound that they cannot move a limb, nor even an eyelid. And while thus fixed, the Almighty shall blow the fires of hell through them forever. They say things like, should this eternal punishment and this fire be extinguished, it would in great measure obscure the light of heaven and put an end to the great part of happiness and glory of the blessed. Of all the blasphemous absurdities of the harlot church system, this is probably the worst. A lie intended to scare poor souls into their clutches in order to rob them. A lie in which makes our God of love to be a hideous monster. An insane, sadistic monstrosity who takes delight in torment and torture. His creatures made in his own image would be tortured. A lie which makes our Savior to be nothing more than a lunatic, a deceiver, and a rascal of the first magnitude. It makes Calvary to be the most awful burlesque ever enacted on earth. Here's a fact. The words say, the wages of sin is death, in Romans 6.23. Whenever somebody hears a Christian, they always quote that verse. But the remarkable thing is that they don't believe it. Not even the ones who continually preach it. The hellfire and brimstone enthusiasts loudly proclaim that verse of Scripture to be true and then abruptly and shamefully contradict himself by maintaining a shamefully eternal torment being the wages of sin. But if the eternal torment were the penalty for sin, then Jesus never atoned for sins. He didn't suffer an eternal torment, and if that is the price that God demands as punishment for sin, then Jesus paid nothing at all. If my punishment were eternal torment, and Jesus took my place receiving the full judgment for my sin, then it should be clear to any thinking person that he would have to have suffered eternity in hell. That's the only way that the debt could have been paid. Now how foolish is that? Fact. The wages of sin is death. Romans 6.23